In May, an upstart diaper brand called Rascal and Friends launched a licensed version with the popular streaming kids show Coco Melon. It flew off the shelves at Walmart and other major retailers in the U.S., Canada and elsewhere. This was a massive coup because Huggies is with Disney and PNG, Pampers, is with Warner Brothers, and Coco Melon has blown them away in preschool, says Nick Mowbray, co-founder and co-CEO of Zuru, the A toy company selling diapers? It's highly unusual, but Zuru, which is owned by New Zealand siblings Nick and Matt Mowbray and based in Hong Kong, has big plans in consumer products that include diapers, hair care, pet food, collagen and a slew of other items. Similar to toys, its strategy with consumer products is to manufacture inexpensively thanks to automation at its factories in China and market like crazy on TikTok. Instagram, YouTube and elsewhere online. There's a big risk, but potentially also big reward, if Zuru can convince customers to switch to their new brands. Founded in 2003, Zuru has become a juggernaut in toys, which it sells in more than 120 countries. It specializes in inexpensive toys, like Buncho Balloons, a gadget that fills 100 water balloons in 60 seconds, and many brands, a capsule that contains tiny figurines of well-known brands inside. The company has nearly tripled its sales, to $1. $1 billion for 2021 from $400 million when Forbes last profiled Zero three years ago. Nick Mowbray, a voluble 37-year-old man with blue eyes and reddish hair who leads the consumer products efforts, now says that he hopes to reach $2 billion in revenue in 2023. That's still a fraction of the size of toy giants Hasbro, $6. 4 billion sales, or Mattel, $5. 5 billion, let alone consumer products Goliath Procter and Gamble, $80. 2 billion. But the consumer products push is growing fast as Zura launches new brands at a rapid clip. It accounted for some $200 million in sales last year, and Mowbray figures it will surpass $400 million in revenue in 2023. With no outside investors, no bank loans and a highly profitable business that throws off cash, Zuru can invest in these new brands even knowing that some will fail with little risk to its core business. Its efforts in collagen have gone slowly in the U.S., for example, while infant formula was a disaster, Mowbray says. The goal is to launch fast, feel fast and get insights. You either win or learn, he says. You never lose. Zuru began as a pet project, as Forbes recounted in the 2019 profile. At age 12, Nick's brother Matt designed a model hot air balloon kit that won a national science fair in New Zealand. Matt and Nick went door to door to sell them. Soon, both brothers had dropped out of college and moved to China to turn their hobby into a real business, 